Are you thinking about getting Bostonopoly as a gift? Well, in this video, I'm actually gonna walk you through what the board game looks like, just so you know what to expect whenever you purchase it. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of BostonTerrierSociety.com. And over there is Bella, my boss in over 10 years. And I swear she does move from that spot, but she always likes to nap whenever I'm doing these videos. So today what I wanted to do is actually give you kind of a review style of what you can expect if you purchase Bostonopoly. I've seen this pop up all over the internet, especially whenever it's around Christmas time. And I decided to go ahead and get it myself just to see what the thing looks like and give you guys an honest review of what you can expect. So I really want to cover seven different things, kind of walking through the different pieces and then wrapping up on the seventh thing as far as what I actually get this as a gift. The very first thing I want to cover is the board itself. Now with this board, it is very similar to Monopoly, obviously, Boston Terrieropoly, right? The only difference is the properties are Boston Terriers themselves and pretty much has the same setup. As far as the board itself, the only thing that was kind of a hiccup, whenever I got it out of the package, it was kind of ripped in the center. I'm sure this is just kind of like an isolated incident because I went to Amazon to check the reviews there to see if anybody had the same issues. They hadn't, so I am gonna ask for a, uh, a new one from the company and see how that goes. But anyways, it's set up just like the actual Monopoly with each piece being a different Boston Terrier. And so that is what the board looks like. It is different from what's on the picture. If you go to Amazon, it looks more of an orange color and that's not the case. This is what the actual board looks like. So I hope that does help you guys whenever you're purchasing it. All right, the second thing I wanna cover are the actual pieces. These are the pieces that you're gonna be whenever you're playing the game. And there are six of them. And once again, this is one of those things whenever you see it on Amazon, it's actually different from what you receive. They are metal pieces. I personally like that. Um, but the pieces are, you have Spike, which is a little water bowl here. You have a fire hydrant. The next one you have is, I'm a yeah, mailman. It's kind of funny, but it's a giant flea. A big T-bone for eating. And the very last piece is a scared cat. So I was kind of surprised that there was no Boston Terrier for the pieces. It's those six pieces. So if you're okay with that, I, I mean, I, I have no issues with it. I think it was great. Some people had complained about it just because it did look different on the box. So expect that whenever you're getting this board. The third thing that I wanna cover are the actual property pieces themselves. So just like in Monopoly, you know, you have the houses and the hotels. So for this game, the houses are actually dog toys. So you can see that it's a little plastic square. And then whenever you have four of these dog toys, then you can upgrade to the big dog bone, which is, this big plastic piece here. Now the actual property cards, you know, whenever you land on a piece, you can actually purchase it just like in Monopoly. Now with these, what I did like about them, well, first let's get into what they look like. So it doesn't have the picture of the Boston Terrier, it just has the color of the corresponding bone. And I'm hoping that zooms in, good enough. So it gives you an idea, you know, just like in Monopoly, you have one house, two house, three house, four house, and the rents go up. And then once you get to a big bone, it then increases. But what I like about it is it actually on the back of each one of these cards is a little fun fact about Boston Terriers, which is kind of cool. So each, each one of these, and this one happens to be Boston Terriers have been a presidential choice in pets. President Warren G. Harding had one named Hub, and then Jared Ford had two. Their names were Fleck and Spot. Um, and it just has little fun facts for each single one of these Boston Terriers, Boston Terrier properties on the board game. So I did like that. All right, the fifth thing I'm gonna cover are chance and community. It's been a while since I've actually played Monopoly. And so it's hard for me to kind of figure out which one is chance and which one is community. But you got, you have bad dog, then you have good dog. Similar thing, you know, you land on something and you have to pay. But it kind of reminded me of sorry in the way some of these were set up. Because here we have bad dog and one of the bad dogs whenever you land on it is advance with the player of your choice to charismatic. So wherever the you can choose a player and then move them, where this one for good dog was uh, down boy, move the player of your choice three spaces, back three spaces. So it's kind of like sorry in that. So they kind of mixed 
a couple board games together, which, I mean, that's fine. Oops, someone had an accident, pay $20 for carpet cleaning. Very similar to Monopoly. Now, the sixth thing that I want to cover is the actual money itself, which with this, just like Monopoly, there there is no really unique features about it. It's just that is what it looks like. And I want to give you guys an idea if you're planning on buying this. So there's the dollar and it goes all the way up to $500, just like in Monopoly. Oops, that's the $100. Here's the $500, it all looks the same. All right, going on to number seven, would I get this? I think this is the perfect gift as a white elephant gift, somebody who loves Boston Terriers, or even a little gag gift. I think this is the perfect thing. Now, for me and my family, would we actually sit down and play this? I would love to sit down and play with it, but nobody in my family actually likes Monopoly or any version thereof. So if you have a family that does, this might be a good choice for you. Now, if you want to check out the game, I do have links in the show notes below. Now, keep in mind, these are affiliate links, meaning I do receive a commission if you purchase from them. Now, the question I have to you is, what would you like for me to review here on this YouTube channel? Is there a Boston Terrier gift you'd like for me to review? Or maybe there is a certain product that you'd like for me to review? Put in the comments below, and I'd love to see how I can help you guys out. Now, if you want to learn more about Boston Terriers, definitely check out this video, 10 Things Boston Terriers Hate. I actually interviewed my Boston Terrier Society community, and they gave me feedback on what their Boston Terriers hate, and I compiled a list of it. Or you can check out one of my latest videos here. Otherwise, until next time, life is better with a Boston. Right, Sleepy Bella? <laughs>